Okay, I've been putting this off since Christmas time after recording much of the videos and having some accidents along the way. And plus, I'll be voicing over on some of the video clips because I kept on rambling on too much, so I'm trying to keep it short and simple. After posting up my recent video vlog or unboxing of my 13x10 Ragtom, this will be a continuation into finally spending time, especially the holidays, to finally clean up and reorganize my storage unit. As you can tell, it's a complete mess due to the fact that I have left it this way since mid to late November. I've been constantly busy at work, staying late, trying to finish up an ongoing kit project, which is now over with. And since it's the holidays, I finally have the time to do so. Yeah, I I've been that busy and now I got the time to get right to it. So here we go. Breaking news, I have a fucking damn accident. The camera is now working, and this is due to my own damn fuck up when, while my foot snagged up the power cord that was connected to the camera, it yanked the camera, hit the ground from a feet or so, and it's not working. The reason why is because the camera itself, or basically the battery, is running low, so I took the camera out from its casing and charged it up, but also using it to record myself throughout the whole process and halfway through this happened i've tried to figure out how to make it work try to fill around with it but it's not working and i'm gonna press down the button to show that it's not being turned on 
Okay, it, it should be turned on after a few seconds of pressing down the button, but it's not working. So yeah, I'm completely fucked, but I'm not gonna stop right here because I set out to get everything organized and once again reposition my drum kit, which is kind of weird throughout the whole year of 2021. I had gone from one spot to the other and now I'm back to the Saxing spot where I first started out when I ran out the storage unit. This is unfortunate, but I gotta keep moving on. So for the next few minutes, you're gonna be seeing mostly a slideshow of pictures of my progress. Yes, I could use my phone to record myself from here on out, but it's gonna take up a lot of um, memory, so I'm just gonna take some snapshots just to show the progress. So here you go. Of all things that has to happen. Man, I feel so fucking damn stupid right now. My camera is actually still working. No fucking lie, it's still working. Despite why I said that it had an accident and it wasn't working, turns out it did. I was looking up on eBay for some GoPro cameras originally, but then stumbled upon more of these Activon CX GO cameras. Well, one of them is CX GO and the other two are XG cameras. Different type of cameras, but exact same brand. The seller was selling on a good deal, which I decided to make an offer. And from there, we did some exchange of counter offers. But during the midst of the counter offer, which I made my final bid, I decided to fill around with the dead camera. And what ended up happening was I yanked out the battery, put it back in, and turned it on. And it's still working. No joke, it is still working. And just to show you proof, here it is. See, the screen is on. This thing is still actually working. Even with that little nasty fall, it's still working. But after making the shocking discovery, the seller responded back and accepted my offer. Now, I should have retracted this order, but I end up buying the cameras. I end up buying the cameras. I spent money, and it's a hell of a good deal, but Honestly, I was fine with just having one camera, but now I got four cameras. It was supposed to be three since I thought this camera was dead, but now I got four. I spent money on these cameras. As of yesterday, my mail has arrived, and what you're looking at is the cameras that I bought from eBay. Ugh. And I already looked through it just to make sure the guy wasn't jipping me, and he gave me everything. Oh boy. Now, it wasn't like this. It was still in place and tech, and, you know, I just wanted to make sure I got everything, but... Oh, wow. This guy, the seller, he was giving everything to me. This guy went the whole nine yards, whole ten yards, or whatever having um, some of the, whatever, you know, all the stuff that was necessary for him to go out recording whatever, which I'm actually interested in what, what exactly he used him for. So, <clears throat> you know, he, he gave me everything that he was selling away, no longer doing this sort of thing anymore, so. Okay, this is the Solar XG camera from Activon. <clears throat> What's special about them is that uh, they have a solar panel that they can that you use to charge up, recharge up your battery. But it also has a battery charger as well, and two extra more batteries just just in case, especially when it comes to doing constant re re recording of whatever. I wonder if that's oh wait, that's another solar XG. Okay, here's the uh, camera. Here's the CX Go. Right here. You know what? I got four cameras now. I got four cameras that I can shot in four different angles all at the same time. Different shots, different whatever. This is like a dream come true, you know. 
I mean, this is what every YouTubers out there are doing. So, yeah, I'm selling myself out right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm falling hit the big time. <laughs> oh, that's a remote control. Yeah, sorry for the janky camera recording. It's hard to do anything with one hand. Yep. Oh, I'll figure this all out. But, uh, yeah, this is it. This is all the cameras along with every uh, accessories that came along with it. Um, thank you very much to the seller who gave everything away on a good deal. Also, just want to show where I am right now with my storage unit. This is what it looks like. It's still a work in progress. Still got to put out the floor mats, use these guys up and get rid of them. Just want to intervene one last time and sorry for the audio sound quality. I forgot to mention that during Christmas weekend, I found some floor mats on Craigslist for dirt cheap. They were sold by a couple who used them for their own home gardening. They're pretty beat up, but that was fine. I pretty much chopped some of them up in order to place them off in the, on the metal wall. Because the metal wall itself is pretty uneven and very janky, hence why they're not all connected. But that's fine. I need them just to deflect the noise and muffle the sound a little bit. Also, I didn't bother to record myself doing all that process because it was very meticulous and I had to conserve some magnetic media in order to continue on with this process. Hence why the way how it is and I'm rolling with it so I'm just gonna go with it. I'm actually happy with the way how it's set up. Um, yeah, I still got some shit to get rid of. God damn, this camera. If, if I have known that this, is, that this was still working, if I have fiddled around with it a bit, a bit more when that happened, I wouldn't be dealing with this, but, you know, I'm grateful to have these extra cameras now, so, <laughs> yeah. Whatever.